hey guys hello everyone and welcome to the channel so in this particular video we are going to extend the previous video uh, where we have done topic wise solved problems on quantum chemistry today in this session we'll be doing a uh, topic wise solved problem uh, from the molecular spectroscopy right now this is one of the most important topic if i would say especially from your csir net and gate both these exams and in this series of videos we'll be doing uh, topic wise question solving uh, especially for this gate 2020 exam okay and also we'll do some for some recent csr net exam so do let me know in the comment sections if you have some specific topic in your mind and you want me to take those questions in the upcoming video so you are most welcome you can just tell me in the comment sections below right so today's topic is molecular spectroscopy there were two questions from this uh, topic in the recent exam that is in the recent gate exam and both of them were very good questions okay so let's take them one by one and let's see that how to solve them All right, so the first question over here was asked for two marks and uh, this was a numerical answer type question and uh, the question was that the frequency in centimeter inverse and uh, it's, it is said that round off to the two decimal places uh, for the pure rotational line in the spectrum of nitro uh, like NO molecule uh, during the change in the quantum number from J is equals to 1 to J is equals to 2 is okay. Now the question says that you have to round off till the two decimal places and uh, remember they are asking you to answer it in centimeter inverse okay and they have given you certain values like moment of inertia they have given uh, they have given you the value of h and all and they have also given you value of uh, speed of light okay. Now to calculate this you need to know two things first of all okay first thing is that you need to know your delta e from 1 to 2 okay the change in energy from 1 to 2. Uh, that you can easily calculate uh, the energy formula for pure rotational line is given by b j and j plus 1 so if i do it for the for the second state so that will be done like b into 2 because j value will be 2 over here and it will be like 2 plus 1 right and minus when i'll do it for the first state so it will be like b into 1 and 1 plus 1 so basically from here you will be getting 6b subtracting your 2b from that so you will be getting 4b so this is the value of energy difference which you have got okay uh, now once you have got the energy difference uh, you can now put it in the now one thing is very important to understand over here that this particular energy difference which you have just calculated uh, is in terms of joules okay it is in terms of joules uh, because if you will be calculating your b your b can be calculated through two formula okay one of the formula is given by this that is h square uh, upon 8 pi square i okay this is the formula which gives you the value of b in joules okay this gives you the value of b in joules and what we do generally we just divide this b by hc in order to get the values in centimeter inverse so our formula becomes h upon 8 pi square i c and this particular formula gives you uh, the value of uh, b basically in centimeter inverse okay uh, now the concept behind this that why b is divided by hc is that you know that this delta e is equals to hc mu bar okay this is your uh, wave number which has a unit of centimeter inverse so in order to get this particular term you have to divide the energy term by hc and then only you will be getting this in in the centimeter inverse so that means what uh, we have to use this all thing in order to solve it further okay the all particular data which we have so that means whatever energy we were having the energy from 1 to 2 okay from 1 to 2 we have to divide that energy by hc in order to get it in uh, centimeter inverse and uh, this will be equal to 4b and divided by hc okay now b by hc you already know the value of that so just put these values so it will be like 4 into h upon 8 pi square ic okay so this is what you will be getting and if you put all these things uh, you will be having your answer in terms of um, centimeter inverse okay so 
uh, while solving or while calculating it i'll just uh, give you that what basically you will be getting at the end so at the end you will be getting this as 681.36 meter inverse okay why meter inverse now you have to understand this that why i have written meter inverse over here now look upon the values which are given to you in the question so first one which is given to you as moment of inertia you can see that that is having a unit of meters h is also like h does not have meter in it but yeah the c has a value of meter okay so we have substituted everything in the terms of meters so that's why we were having it in like the 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 frequency which we will be getting will be in terms of or the energy which we will be getting in terms of centimeter inverse that's what we will be getting now we have to convert that into centimeter inverse and the way how we do it in centimeter inverse is by dividing it by 100 okay remember that 1 meter inverse is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 centimeter inverse you have to divide by 10 to the power uh, means 100 so this will become 6.81 because i have to just round off of till two decimal places so it will be 6.81 centimeter inverse and that is going to be my answer of this question because it was pretty simple and pretty straightforward question what we have to keep in mind over here is how the units are being analyzed okay so you have to be very careful with the units like whether uh, you are putting it in centimeter or whether you are putting a particular thing in meters okay so that particular uh, like the unit conversion is playing a very important role in gate exam okay so that's what it is uh, let's go to the next question then all right so the next question over here is pretty much more simple okay uh, than the previous one this is again a two marker question asked uh, in the terms of your numerical answer type question and it says that assuming no interaction okay remember this assuming no interaction between vibrational and rotational energy so vibrational and rotational energy are not at all interacting with each other that's a good thing uh, in the hydrogen fluoride the frequency in centimeter inverse rounded off to the nearest integer uh, of the r branch line originating from j is equals to 4 in its ir spectrum is so uh, you have to understand quite a few things uh, over here that what is basically r branch um, what will be the energy value and how to calculate it okay so three things is what you need to know rotational constant that means they have given you the value of b here and they have given you the fundamental frequency over here okay so that's what is given to us now so an easy way of approaching this question is first of all uh, to find out that what are branch are so there are basically three types of branches which you might have studied or three types of line or three types of bands in which you might have studied p band q band and r band okay the p band is uh, when you have delta j is equals to minus one here when you have delta j is equals to zero and when you have delta j is equals to plus one so that's what are the conditions so we understood now about the r branch here right so r branch is when the transition will happen from j to j plus one okay so if, if you have started your transition that means if it is originating from j is equals to four so it is going to transit to j is equals to five that's what it should be right first of all calculate the ro uh, rotational energy so delta e is from your j to j plus 1 that's what is happening uh, in your r and for the given condition it's precisely this is from 4 to 5 okay now we'll put the value of energy which we have already seen in the previous question that how to calculate the energy it was bj j plus 1 so i'll be like b the value of j is 5 and 5 plus 1 okay minus b into 4 and this will be like 4 plus 1 so what you are going to get over here so this will be like 5 into 6 is 30 30 minus 4 into 5 is 20 so basically you will be getting 10 b from here and since uh, it is a r branch that means you are having rotational and vibrational both spectroscopy uh, although rotational and vibrational spectroscopy are not interacting with each other or rotational vibrational energy levels are not interacting with each other but yet the energy which you have over here is actually v j okay e v j and this will be equal to the fundamental frequency of your uh, the fundamental frequency or basically uh, that that is the difference between each and every rotational uh, sorry that is the difference between each and every vibrational lines right the difference between two vibrational lines okay if you have any of these vibrational line the difference is always 
uh, this uh, mu naught okay so always your difference is mu naught so we'll put that over here uh, so it's like mu naught plus the rotational part that is 10b that's all you have to do now you just have to put the values and solve so here you will be having uh, like 4138.52 centimeter inverse and plus 10 times of this is 19.35 and that is also in centimeter inverse so you don't have to worry about the units uh, now so 4138.52 and plus this will be 193.5 if you add these values using calculator you can do so so you will be having 4332.02 centimeter inverse okay that's the value which you will be having and since in the question they have given you this much liberty uh, that you can round off to the nearest integer okay that's what they have said round off to the nearest integer so the nearest integer is 4332 so the correct answer will be 4332 centimeter inverse and that's how it will be solved so these were two questions uh, they were pretty simple the concepts were there in them like uh, the concepts were in detail but yeah if you understand the concept if you have studied uh, rotational vibrational spectroscopy basically the molecular spectroscopy in detail and if you know about all these terms and how to identify or how to utilize the information to find out the required things then the question was pretty simple for you right so uh, so that's all for this particular video guys thank you so much for watching i hope uh, you have understood whatever i have taught you in this video if you have any doubt you can ask that in the comment sections below uh, if you are new to this channel do subscribe to the channel give uh, this video a like if you like the content share this video among all your friends and the whatsapp groups and telegram groups whatever you have but yeah uh, do let me know in the comments if you want to ask anything or if you have any suggestion or if you have any uh, like request for a particular topic right so i'll see you in the next video till then have a great day bye bye